Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven and today I would like to explain to you how to display sites that are part of the hub on a SharePoint site. Um, let me explain to you what I mean by that. Um, here's a situation. We have a hub in here, right? Uh, this is a hub site and then I have all these other sites that are part of the hub. Just a few sites just to show you all these different department and team sites part of the hub. Uh, and you know, even though I can access all my sites through the navigation menu over here, I still want to kind of, you know, display all the sites uh, and, and see uh, if there are any other sites uh, by any chance that are part of the hub, but maybe are not part of the navigation. Um, here is how to do that. Uh, there is a cool web part uh, in SharePoint in modern, uh, in modern experience, of course, called Sites, and it allows you to display the sites that are part of the hub. Uh, here is how to utilize it. Um, you, you can navigate to any site. It doesn't need to be uh, the, the parent you know, hub site. It can be any other site. Uh, so I'm going to navigate to one of my other sites. This happens to be an HR team site that is associated with, uh, with the hub. Uh, and then you, we obviously want to edit the page and we, we do want to add a new uh, web part. Here we go. And the name of the web part is called Sites. Let's find it together. Here we go. All right. And let's take a look. And look at this. By default, it shows me all the sites that are part of the hub. And I only happen um, to have four of them, even though I have the menu. Um, uh, these are just not real links. These are just, you know, pretty much uh, uh, header links uh, or no links at all, <laughs> just labels. Uh, but, so I only have four sites that are part of the hub, and here they are. All right, and um, this probably looks familiar to you because we, we have this uh, little card that uh, obviously shows the name of the site, uh, what type of site it is, uh, and also the activity, uh, the activity, the recent activity happening on the site. This is the same behavior uh, that you would get if you were to go to, uh, let me just open it in another tab, if you were to click on the SharePoint, um, you know, on the SharePoint tile. SharePoint link, of course, here you would see the activity from all the sites in your universe, SharePoint universe, versus here, this just shows you the activity, uh, um, you know, uh, all, and all the sites that are uh, just part of the hub. All right, and essentially you can publish this, so you can, um, uh, so this is live to everyone else. Um, let me show you some additional settings. If you click the little pencil icon over here. Um, so by default, it does show you the, all the sites that are part of the hub. Uh, however, there are a couple of other settings here as well. Um, in case, uh, because this web part also works, you, you know, for situations where you do not have a hub. All right. So as you can see here, um, this could this shows frequent sites for the current user. So depending on who is logged in, you know, this will always be different. Um, you know, and show the recent activity, uh, the frequent sites, uh, you know, visited by the, you know, by that particular user. Or you can be actually pretty selective and, uh, you know, cherry pick, you know, the particular sites uh, from your SharePoint environment uh, that you want to display here. So uh, this is not even, you know, tied to a particular user. This is not even part of the hub. This is just some, uh, you know, random sites that I have in my, uh, in my environment that I want to display uh, for whatever reason on my site. All right. So as you can see, um, even I mean it's a pretty simple web part, but it does allow for um, you know some nice customizations. So depending on your use case, you might you know pick one option over the other. All right. And of course, once you make all the changes, don't forget forget to hit publish so the changes are available. Um, the, the, the web part and, uh, you know, the page is now available to everyone else, for everyone else to, to enjoy. All right. Um, so that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully you learned uh, something new today. As always, um, happy to see you again on my YouTube channel as well as my blog, SharePointMaven.com. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.